today's video we're gonna check what's going on with Bitcoin is it going up is it going down we're gonna check the charts and see what's happening and as we've seen Bitcoin has been dependent on a few things to pump so recently we've all been suspecting that the Chinese are pumping Bitcoin and are bidding now we're coming at the end of February and new months is starting and a new price action is going to happen so basically first we're gonna start with the charts and we're gonna look at BTC USD chart first we're gonna go towards the weekly charts put our high time frames support and resistance so our first major resistance area would be this one here as you can see now acting strongly as a resistance around the 25k level and to the downside we have another area which is basically this one here now this is the second area which is around the 18k to the 19k level now as you can see those are our major support and resistance now if we're looking at charts we do not want to be emotional and having a bias so the first thing we do not want to have a bias we do not want to think like please let make it pump here right so the only thing we can do is look at the charts and see what they are telling us now we've been rejected from this level as we've been rejecting again here now the good part is that even if we go down this level here would act as a strong support or the 19 the 18k level now before we get there we have many other levels to go and what could bring the price down right so now recently we've seen few bearish news as the BUSD the Binance USD got some bad news as the sex trying to regulate it now the second chart we can look at is the S&P 500 so usually Bitcoin is so related to this one as of recently we did see some strength from Bitcoin now I already have the support and resistances drawn here I've been showing this recently on my my Twitter account link in the description if you want to follow me there now as you can see we have some support and resistances going around here now recently a lot of people were looking at this trend line on the S&P 500 and we were all waiting for it to break up and then it happened here at this level here people were all calling recession now I've published a video saying that this would go up and would bring Bitcoin back up with it though so this is basically the this December last year and this was the opening towards the new year and this led this pump here led to the rally we're having right now what we see here is that we've been rejected from this level again this is a strong level here and we've been rejected from it and so far this week we're still red we're going red toward it now as you can notice here we are somewhat on a support all I would like it to go here now if the S&P 500 goes back here or even here this would bring BTC here now this this is not the only reason that could bring BTC here now Bitcoin could could be affected by many other things that any bad news right now the market is sensitive any bad news could bring BTC right down here but so far Bitcoin is still strong and we are still waiting for that support to still hold and this support is this one here a major support still 21400 support as you can see if I go back to the daily charts now this level is acting as strong support and resistance level so as you can see this level here was a resistance resistance and then once we broke out we retested back again it's now a support now the likelihood of this level here acting as support is very high now we could still bounce back up here and range now the likely scenario is that we range here for a while now this is gonna be decisive if we break below here and retest and we break below this level we are going down here if we come back here and kind of bounce back up here now this would be confirmation that we're gonna be ranging now the likelihood of breaking towards now here and going back up trending higher toward 30k is very low now we could also look towards our RSI and see what the RSI is telling us RSI is the relative strength index now the RSI is a pretty simple tool and it's been showing bearish indications as of recently as you can see here when the RSI is going down and the price is going up that's usually bearish now this is pure technical analysis to cut it short basically the, the 21k 500 is a strong support and if we just dump right back this could happen this is by far is the best scenario for everyone if we just dump right back here this would basically cause a huge sell-off and this support could hold after because we're gonna nuke and get done with the selling and start back again our way up here now this 
these are the levels I'm looking for now now to the upside I still believe this could be a resistance now we could still do this and then hit back the 25 even the 26 level and this would still be bearish short term when I'm saying bearish short term because I still believe this move is not done yet and we're still going up this move now needs more capital coming to the market now if we do this again we could still do this here and this would still be bearish and this could just further the pain as we would just be trending again higher and then trend lower and then people are just being emotional because this is by far the most painful scenario is that we just go back from here back up and then everyone longs again here and then we dump again and then everyone screams again to 10k 12k and again we could just range now that's what i am looking for as of now once we're here i am gonna dca again this this is my level where i'm probably gonna start buying some coins you can see the video here when I'm talking about the coins I am dollar cost averaging into like from time to time I am buying whenever there is a dip now the first dip that I'm looking for is 21 500 the second one is the 18 to 19 K area so if you want to watch another video or you are wondering what kind of cryptocurrencies you want to buy to escape the matrix get rich you can watch this video here Cheers